Uh, Britain may have a rethink on green energy. It's since a survey claims two-thirds of its citizens are against directly propping up the non-competitive industry. And the so-called green levies make up a hefty part of average energy bills and they're only predicted to snowball if the UK proceeds with its pro-green policies. Artie's Polly Boyko reports from London. Talking about the weather may be a British foible, but nowadays it can make or break a household budget. Winter is setting in, as are announcements that energy prices are set to rise yet again. Now, roughly 10% of the UK's average household energy bill is made up of so-called green taxes, and the Prime Minister, David Cameron, has pledged to do away with them in order to help out struggling Brits. Now, the idea has proved popular for a country battling with austerity. According to a recent poll by Servation, some 60% of Brits object to having to shell out for the green levies. I'm concerned about the environment, but firstly, I want to, you know, I'm more concerned about what energy is costing me. Yeah, anything, anything to make things cheaper, I think it's a good idea, really. I'd prefer that they cut it off profits and actually reduce the tax that might be well spent. Well, obviously, I'd like to see bills come down, definitely, yes, without a shadow of a doubt. Opposition leader Ed Miliband says that green levies aren't to blame for Britain's high energy prices. But the government figures show that green taxes add £112 to the average household energy bill in the UK. Now, roughly half that money goes towards supporting cleaner, greener energy, such as solar panels, like the ones located on the roof of London's Blackfriars train station. But as the latest survey shows, for the Brits counting the pennies to keep warm this winter, concern for the environment is going to have to come in second for now. Polly Boyko, RT, London.